Good everyone, the Asian Dad here. I just wanted to make a quick video just to let you guys know that the Dell Precision 5820 has had a new update. Now, the actual computer components hasn't been updated at all. Now, this was not a new computer. It's been released probably about two years ago, but you can actually get this thing now configured with the GeForce RTX 3080 cards in there. It's fantastic. Now, traditionally, this is all for Quadro cards and the Tesla cards, but now you can actually configure it with the GeForce RTX 3080 cards. So this is going to be very good for the machine learning and deep learning and all the other fun things you can do with the 3080 card as well too. So that is something that's new in 2021 that you actually now can configure with it there. So I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like. Having a look inside the Dell Precision 5820, with the 3080 card in there, you'll find that the 3080 card is installed in the PCIe slot 5. Now, I'm not sure this will be for all the other people, or this is just only this particular unit. I have a feeling it might be for all the other ones as well. I will be getting a second one in to find out. But I have tried actually move this 3080 card to another PCI slot. Unfortunately, it won't boot. It is configured only in PCIe slot 5. And the reason why I was trying to move it is because I find it's actually getting quite a bit of heat and I just want to move it up just so it has a little bit more breathing room from the bottom of the fan to suck out and then breathe around here. But unfortunately, we can't move it from the PCIe slot 5. And I've tried looking at the BIOS. I will be working with Dell to see if we can try and move this slot to another slot. And the other thing to note with the Precision 5820 is you can't open the side case of this computer as if it's in operation or even just a boot, it will not boot the computer if you have the side case open. If you have the side case open while this is in operation, it will automatically shut the computer down as well. So that's the thing to note. And of course you can see there's the two eight pin PCI Express. And now as for the power supply here, I'm just going to take out the power supply. Now this one is using a 950 watt power supply. You need to get that one configured and that one to actually support this 3080 card in there. So do talk to your Dell representative to actually get that configured there. So here is the Dell GeForce RTX 3080 card. It's actually not that large, as you can see from my hand, just to give you a bit of a size difference there. And of course it is using two eight pins as well. Now it looks very similar to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 reference card, and it does have a stability bracket as well, which you can also remove if you want, but these are designed for these cards here for the Precision series, which is absolutely fantastic to see. And it's pretty nice and small, I've got to admit. And as for the outputs of this on the phone, you're looking at HDMI port and then three full-size display ports as well. I did run a quick benchmarks on this Dell Precision 5820 with the RTX 3080 card. Now this one is configured with an i7 with 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD hard drive. So I'll put up the scores for Passmark 10 and Spec View Pref. You might not be able to find the RTX 3080 card in the configuration page on the Dell website, so do contact your local Dell representative to see if you can get this thing configured with the RTX 3080 card. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, or even to support my channel, smack that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button as well. I do try uploading new video every week, and just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.